I love to give money saving tips and this one is pretty drastic. Now it may not save you tons of money, maybe 30 to 100 bucks a year, but doing it is going to take a little faith. And here's the deal. You don't need antivirus software with Windows 10. Nada. I have been running without antivirus software, that is a third-party antivirus software, for about a year on my computer and had zero issues with it. Now there's a couple of things that I've done in order to make that happen and keep my computer reliable. Okay. First is I practice safe computing. A lot of my blog entries and my videos are, are talking about safe computing practices. A lot of the products that I recommend and review are all about safe computing. Okay. Number one, I don't click on garbage links. I don't browse into questionable sites. I don't do that kind of thing. And that helps keep your computer safe. Second thing, I back up my data religiously. I have on-site and off-site backup. Okay, I have a USB drive that I save my data to and I have a cloud backup service. Now, if you're dumping data to a USB drive, that's not a backup. If you, especially if you're deleting it off your computer. You need to keep it, a copy of your data on those USB hard drives and replicate it to the cloud. Third thing I do is I keep Windows updated. Windows 10 security patches and in particular Windows Defender. Now I'm going to show you a little bit how to do that. Now Windows Defender is antivirus and anti-malware and ransomware and security all built into Windows 10 and it's actually very good. There's growing support in the industry for the antivirus and the security that's built into Windows 10. But here's the thing, you have to keep it updated. Now, that's the case with any antivirus. And the worst thing that can happen is you buy a brand new computer and it comes with, guess what, McAfee subscription, a Norton subscription, gives you 30, maybe 90 days free trial. Well, what happens at the end of that 30 or 90 days? Ignore, 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 ignore. And you don't get the updated version and you're vulnerable and it's probably turned off the Windows Defender program. So you're better off not having any antivirus than using Symantec, Norton antivirus, or whatever you want to call them these days, and McAfee and Kaspersky and all those that have got so high ratings. Um, take them off. Get rid of them. Delete them. Don't subscribe. Don't pay for them. Instead, go to your little taskbar here and click the icons and it'll show you the tray and if you'll notice there's one with a little shield there now mine has a green check by it saying everything's okay um, if it has a little yellow box or red there's something that you need to take care of so just click on that and it brings up your security at a glance this is a great little feature here virus and threat protection enabled no action needed account protection Nothing needed to be done. Firewall, app and browser control, device security, device health, all that is green and taken care of. If, it's, if something isn't turned on, you can enable it. But if you have an, a third-party app like uh, Kaspersky or a Norton, it's going to disable this. So you've got to remove them first. And it can be tricky because Norton is notoriously difficult to remove from your computer. They don't want you to unsubscribe. They want to keep feeding you ads and thinking you need that update and paying them 60, 90 bucks a year. But spend the time, get rid of those antivirus. Now, the only other thing I recommend is a little program called Malware Bytes. Malware Bytes, if you suspect there's a trouble, download the free version and run it. It will find uh, potentially unwanted programs, quarantine them, get rid of them. Uh, if you are in a situation where you have to do a lot of browsing for your work or 
for your personal interests, I would suggest subscribing to Malwarebytes Premium Service. Now here's the thing, is Malwarebytes works with Windows Defender, not against it, okay? That will help in extreme cases, but in most of us, most of us that just do you know, office apps and standard browsing and searching and our cloud applications, um, really just the build-in antivirus program for Windows is adequate. So there's your tip. Didn't cost you anything for this tip, right? But it could have saved you some money. So I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button. And visit us at our Facebook page, Impactization. And, of course, our website, impactization.com. Thanks.